Curious Kids, welcome back to the Curious KidCast, where we answer the questions that make your brain do gymnastics. I'm Andy, and today we've got a brilliant question from Oliver in Bristol. Now, Oliver was eating a slice of watermelon at his cousin's birthday party when he accidentally swallowed three seeds in a row, and his older brother told him he'd wake up with a watermelon vine coming out of his ears. Naturally, Oliver panicked and sent us this question. If you swallow a seed, will a plant really grow in your stomach? Brilliant question, Oliver, and I've got good news for you. Your ears are safe. But let's dig into this juicy topic, shall we? So, first things first. This story is ancient. Like, your great-great-great-great-grandparents probably heard it when they were kids. Back in the olden days, before we had science classes and YouTube videos explaining how everything works, parents needed a way to stop their children from swallowing random stuff. Cherry pits. Apple seeds. Bean seeds. Anything small that could potentially cause trouble. So instead of giving a boring lecture about choking hazards, they'd say something much more memorable. Swallow that seed and a tree will sprout right out of your belly button. Now that's what I call effective parenting. Terrifying, sure, but effective. This tale popped up all over the world, too. In some European countries, parents said beans could turn your stomach into a vegetable garden. In other places, they warned that cherry trees would burst out of your tummy. It's like international parents all got together and said, you know what, let's traumatize our kids about seeds. But here's the thing. They didn't actually understand digestion back then. They didn't know what really happens when you swallow something. So imagination filled in the gaps and boom, scary seed stories were born. Let me tell you what actually happens when you gulp down a seed. Your stomach is basically the world's most powerful washing machine. Except instead of soap, it uses acid. Proper, industrial-strength acid that could probably melt a penny. Okay, I'm exaggerating a bit, but stomach acid is seriously strong stuff. When food drops into your stomach, it meets this bubbling pool of acid and special chemicals called enzymes. These work together like a demolition crew, smashing your sandwich, apple, or pizza into tiny pieces that your body can use. It's like watching a food item go through a blender, except the blender is inside you, which is both cool and slightly gross. Now, seeds are clever little things. They've been designed by nature over millions of years to survive really harsh conditions. They're waiting for the perfect moment, soil, water, sunlight, and warmth. So they wear these tough little coats, like tiny suits of armor, to protect the baby plant inside. Scientists call that baby plant an embryo, which sounds very fancy. Because of this armor, some seeds can actually survive the journey through your stomach. They float through all that acid like little boats on a stormy sea. But, and here's the important bit, even if they survive, your stomach is absolutely not the place where they can grow. It's like trying to keep a goldfish in a bathtub full of lemonade. Not happening. All right, let's talk about what seeds are actually looking for in life. They're quite picky, really. They need four main things, and I hate to break it to you, but your belly provides exactly zero of them. First, they need soil or some other growing medium. Somewhere to stretch out their roots and grab nutrients. Your stomach lining is squishy and acidic, not exactly root-friendly territory. Second, they need water. Now, you might think, aha, but I drink water, so my stomach has water. Nice try, but your stomach is also full of acid and digestive juices. It's less like a refreshing glass of water and more like a science experiment gone wrong. Third, they need sunlight. You know, that bright yellow thing in the sky? Unless you've swallowed a torch? Which, please don't do. There's zero sunlight inside your tummy. It's darker in there than a cave at midnight. And fourth, they need air and oxygen. Plants breathe too, just like us. 
but your stomach is sealed up tight with no fresh air allowed in. It's like trying to grow a plant in a locked cupboard. So even if a seed somehow survived your stomach acid, looked around and thought, right, time to grow, it would quickly realize it's in the worst possible hotel ever. No room service, no windows, and definitely no chance of sprouting. The little plant embryo inside just stays asleep. On permanent vacation. Here's something fascinating though. Some seeds actually do survive the trip through your digestive system. It's true. In fact, some animals, like birds, monkeys, and cows, eat seeds on purpose, and those seeds hitch a ride through their stomachs and come out the other end. And I think we all know what the other end means. We're talking about poo, folks. Nature's fertilizer. This is actually part of nature's master plan. It's called seed dispersal. The animal eats a tasty fruit, gets the nutrients it needs, and the seeds get a free ride to a new location. Then, when the seeds exit, and let's not dwell too much on this bit, they land somewhere new with built-in fertilizer. It's genius, really. Gross, but genius. Humans aren't that different. If you swallow tiny seeds from berries or certain fruits, they might pass all the way through your system intact. So technically, you could poo out a living seed. But even then, unless you're planning to sit in a flower pot with plenty of sunlight, which would be very weird, that seed still won't grow into a plant. It needs to be in soil, not in a toilet. Trust me on this one. Let's get a tiny bit sciencey, but I promise to keep it fun. Seeds have this amazing process called germination. That's the fancy word for waking up and starting to grow. It happens in stages, like a plant version of getting ready for school in the morning. First, the seed absorbs water and swells up like a tiny sponge. Then it breaks out of its dormancy, which means it wakes up from its long sleep. Next, it pushes out its first root, called a radical. That's a funny name, isn't it? Radical. Sounds like a vegetable superhero. After that, the shoot starts growing upward, reaching desperately for sunlight. It's like when you wake up and stretch your arms toward the ceiling, except much slower, and you're a plant. Now, in your stomach, maybe. Just maybe. Step one could begin if your stomach was full of liquid. The seed might start to absorb a bit of water. But then what? The radical has nowhere to go. There's no soil to push through. And the shoot definitely can't reach any light because, news flash, you don't have a window in your belly. So the seed either goes back to sleep, or, more likely, gets broken down by your stomach acid. Either way, no plant, no garden, no tree branches coming out of your ears. Sorry to disappoint anyone who was hoping to become a human flower pot. You might be wondering, Andy, if this story isn't true, why do parents keep telling it? Great question, imaginary child in my head. The answer is simple. It works. Parents don't want kids choking on seeds or swallowing dangerous things. A long, boring lecture about the dangers of choking and digestive blockages isn't going to stick in a kid's memory. But saying, a watermelon will grow in your tummy and you'll look like a beach ball. Now that's memorable. It's funny, it's weird, and it's just scary enough to make kids think twice. It's also teaching cause and effect. Swallow random stuff and something weird might happen. Even though a seed won't turn into a beanstalk in your belly, swallowing something sharp or too big could actually hurt you. So the story mixes imagination with an actual safety lesson. It's like vegetables hidden in a pizza. Sneaky, but effective. Even though your stomach isn't about to become a botanical garden, seeds really are incredible in real life. Let me hit you with some seed facts that'll blow your mind. Sunflowers can grow taller than a giraffe. Imagine looking up at a flower and getting a crick in your neck. Bamboo is one of the fastest growing plants on earth. Some types can grow more than three feet in a single day. That's like you growing an entire extra body overnight. Imagine waking up and suddenly being 12 feet tall. Your parents would need a bigger car. Apple seeds contain a tiny amount of cyanide. But before you panic, you'd have to eat thousands of seeds at once to be in any danger. So that one seed you swallowed last week? Totally fine. Please don't start eating apple seeds on purpose, though. That would be weird and also not tasty. Some seeds can survive for hundreds of years and still grow. Scientists once found a 2,000-year-old date seed in an ancient palace in Israel, planted it, and it actually grew. 
That seed was older than your great, 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 great times 60 grandparents. And it still sprouted. That's like finding a really old potato crisp and it's still being crunchy. So what have we learned today? Swallowing a seed will definitely not turn your stomach into a greenhouse. Your digestive system is way too harsh, dark, and acidic for any plant to survive. But this story teaches us something important about curiosity and imagination. Old tales like this one are part of our culture and history. They make us laugh, make us think, and sometimes make us a little more careful about what we put in our mouths. Your stomach might not be a garden, but your curiosity can definitely grow into something wonderful, just like a real seed in proper soil. All right, curious kids, it's quiz time. I'm going to ask you three questions about seeds and stomachs. Pause the podcast if you need thinking time, or just shout the answer at your device. Your mom might give you weird looks, but that's half the fun. Question one. What are the four things a seed needs to grow? The answer is soil, water, sunlight, and air. If you got that right, give yourself a pat on the back. If you said a stomach, some acid, darkness, and no oxygen, well, points for creativity, but that's exactly what seeds don't want. Question two. What's the name of the first root that pushes out of a germinating seed? The answer is a radical. It sounds like radical, which is perfect because roots are actually pretty radical when you think about it. They're like underground explorers. Question three. How tall can bamboo grow in a single day? The answer is more than three feet. That's basically the height of a seven-year-old child. Imagine growing that much overnight. You'd need new clothes every single day. Your parents would go broke just buying trousers. Well, that's all for today's episode of the Curious Kid Cast. Big thanks to Oliver in Bristol for sending in such a brilliant question. Oliver, you can tell your brother that you'll be just fine. No watermelon vines, no emergency stomach gardening, nothing. You're all good. If you enjoyed today's episode, make sure to share it with your friends. Tell them all about your new stomach knowledge. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss an episode. Got a burning question you'd like answered? Maybe you want to know why the sky is blue, or how long it would take to walk to the moon, or whether penguins have knees. They do, by the way. Head over to our website at CuriousKidCast.com and send in your question. We read every single one, and who knows? Yours might be featured in the next episode. This has been the Curious KidCast. I'm Andy, and I'll catch you next time.